welcome or welcome back to Mars glow i hope you guys are doing great and that you've been having a great week and today we're actually going to be doing an inner glow video and i've actually noticed there's a group of you guys who specifically come onto my channel to check out my inner glow series so welcome back i hope you're all doing well and today i'm actually going to be building up on an inner glow video i did I think it was about a month ago my healing journey so we'll be talking about that and i'm actually specifically going to be talking about my experience in the healing circle which was hosted by monversation she's also known as dorina but online she's known as monversation and she's an intuitive healing coach so she guides her clients on how to dig deeper into themselves and figure out the things that are the source of their emotional wounds and how they can heal from that. So she really guides people in their healing journey and that's something I really needed, especially this year, like I told you guys in my previous video. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys my experience on that. And unfortunately, I'm feeling unwell. So if I come off, you know, a bit some type of way, <laughs> please excuse me. I'm not really as energetic as before, but I'm just warming up with some green tea. So yeah, let's just get straight into the video. So the Healing Circle is actually a program that Monversation hosts, like I told you. So she does either healing sessions, which is one-on-one, -on -one, or she does um, healing programs where a group of you guys can um, participate in a program where she guides you in your healing journey. And this program was actually the entire month of September, you guys. So it was a full on 30 days of healing and it was done online. So via email, um, via videos and via via live chats and it's something I really enjoyed. It's something that was really profound and something, gosh, I really needed this year, especially with everything going on outside. I just felt like it was time to come back home to myself and dig deeper within myself. So this specific healing circle focused mainly on loss. So it could be the loss of a relationship, the loss of a job, the loss of an identity, maybe like you were holding yourself up in a certain way and you kind of lost that, whatever that was. So any kind of loss that you experienced, that's what she really focused on in this particular program. And what I really liked is how interactive the programs were. Like I said, through the live chat, so we could do Q and A's with her. I also like the fact that some of the content was via videos, so it made it really easy to consume um, whatever she was saying. And she also sent us emails every single day with journaling prompts, which was really good because journaling is such an important like practice in helping you just take stuff out, especially when you're thinking of something or you're dealing with something, like it really helps to just put it on paper. Like it's such a positive release. So I'm going to be taking you through week after week of how the healing program was because each week like had a different theme. So I'm going to be taking you through all that acknowledge your feelings so that was the theme of the first week and dorina aka monversation was just encouraging us to be okay with sitting with our emotions and our feelings and whatever arises from the situations that we're healing from and it felt like such a safe space to do so by the the facebook group that um, the live sessions and the Q&A sessions and the videos were being posted on was a private Facebook group. So it made us feel really safe and know that the information we're sharing is safe. So I really loved that I felt like I could share anything. And she actually took us through a really powerful healing exercise, you guys, where you like envision meeting up with the person who really like brought pain into your life or really put you through something that was very hurtful and sharing with them how you feel. And I just really loved that exercise. Like I'm telling you guys, it was so powerful. Like I just cried through it because there was just so much I was holding back. And later on, that's when I was like, oh, there's actually a lot that I was holding back. So it was such an amazing and um, relieving exercise to do. So that's what we did for the first week. So week two was about accepting assistance and basically um, learning that it's okay, it's okay to be helped through this. Like healing is such an intense 
um, process to go through and it can get overwhelming for anyone. So she was just telling us to learn how to accept assistance from those around us who want to help us through this difficult time. And the healing exercise we did with her was to write a letter to the part of you that needed your support. So you basically just write a letter to to that you that was going through something difficult. And I found that very powerful because it's like you're providing space or you're creating space for that heart and that experience that you actually went through. The theme for week three was the nudge to move forward. So it's so easy whenever you're going through like a difficult, um, period emotionally to just kind of sink into that space like I don't know if I'm making sense like you just you become paralyzed by either a specific situation or a specific experience and trust me I've experienced that and it's understandable why we do that like you just feel like I can't move move on from this I can't move on from like the hurt that was caused or all the intense emotions I experienced during that situation or with that specific person and she just told us that you know what it's it makes sense why we would feel that way but we also have to remember that we don't have to stay stuck that we can move forward that we can we can grow beyond the things that have actually caused us pain or the things that have actually brought us a lot of um, hurt that we don't have to fully identify with that. So week three was just basically about tapping into our vulnerability and seeing the things that you know we feel and we deal with that kind of holds us back into moving into a healed version of ourselves and an exercise we did with her was actually to journal out the things that hold us back from healing so is it resentment um, is it the feeling of feeling not being seen is it feeling like if you move on from the heart that was caused during this experience or with this person that it makes it okay like just digging deep into the things that you know you're working through and how sometimes they can actually hold you back in your healing journey week four was all about letting go that was actually the theme of the week and the exercise for that week was actually to write a letter or record an audio to the person or situation you're grieving and then you so you just basically like release everything that you've been working through either on paper or in an audio and then you destroy the message so you can rip up the paper or burn it and you know just delete the audio note and it's basically just a way for you to kind of address the person without really addressing them but more so focused on yourself and how you feel and the things that you want to share and release so i found that also really like ah, intense i'm telling you some days during that month i was just like i can't like it's it's very it can be very demanding but i just knew that you know what at the end of the day i'm doing this for myself um, so that I can become a better version of myself so I just kept going and Dorina was always there for us you know checking up on us finding out like do you have any questions what parts of the healing program are you struggling with so it really helped to have that guidance and that support and yeah that was basically it for week four it was just about what do you look forward to letting go of in your healing journey so what do you want to release during this time so that was my experience in the entire four weeks it's definitely summarized because i don't want this video to be so long but it was such a powerful thing for me to do and it's one of the things i actually wanted to work through this year like just working through my healing journey um, dealing with the things that I feel like are holding me back emotionally or mentally and I feel like the healing circle was something that really came through for me and I also liked like the techniques that Dorina used during the sessions it didn't feel like a class <laughs> like a university lecture it didn't feel 
formal which made us even feel more relaxed so she used affirmations she used breathing techniques um journal therapy that's why every day she was sending us emails with the journal journaling prompts she used mindfulness she would send us some songs that will help like invoke certain emotions that will help us in our healing journey like it just felt like such a safe space to feel and such a safe space to grow as well and like i said earlier the sessions were done online via our private facebook group so she will come online um through lives twice a week and on one of those lives she would actually open up the space for us for us to ask her any questions that we may have so that's something i also really liked and she also posted daily on the facebook group just sharing with us like really important um messages that can help us along the entire process so that's it you guys that is the end of this video and i feel like the main message i got from like the entire healing circle was that healing is a journey it's something you do even beyond um the program and she actually surprised us with some extra journaling prompts that she sent to us that we can continue even after the program to just dig deeper into our healing journey um something else i really loved is the fact that it just felt like even after the program we could always ask her questions later on and find out how we can improve on ourselves and she also does have upcoming courses so don't worry if you missed the september class she's always doing more and more healing programs and she actually has upcoming courses and i wanted to share them with you guys so in the next few months before the year ends dorina will be having a self-love course and she'll also be having another healing circle program but this one will specifically focus on the inner child and i feel like most of us if not all of us acquire a lot of like emotional wounds in our childhood so i really feel like this program will be really good for you guys so check it out i'm going to share with you guys all the information that i can but i'm also going to direct you to her website where she posts all the information on upcoming courses and her instagram so she goes live on ig every week so once a week so i'm going to share with you guys her instagram handle as well so you can go check her out interact with her check out her live sessions she saved most of them as igtvs so please go watch them trust me there's something for you guys to learn from her i just find her sessions so powerful so go check them out and yeah feel free to dm her as well in case you have any other questions otherwise i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'm just so sorry if my spirits are a bit low and also my voice is a bit raspy but like i said i'm feeling unwell but yeah feel free to share with me your feedback in the comment section um and yeah i definitely look forward to sharing with you guys more on my healing journey in upcoming inner glow videos if you haven't subscribed already please do subscribe i would really appreciate it if you did so and i can't wait to see you guys in my next video Thank you.